Today's video is presented in partnership with Hampson Auctions, one of the UK's leading classic, performance and supercar auction houses. Their next sale takes place on the 24th of November at the magnificent Bowlesworth Castle in Cheshire. Hi everyone, welcome back to Rich Reviews and today we're back at Topaz Detailing, back with our stunning Amira. And today we're back here, you think, okay, well we've already had PPF applied to the car, why are we back at Topaz again? Well, one of the services that Topaz provide is when, you're, when you've had PPF applied to a car, it needs to settle a bit after a period of time, usually after around seven to 14 days. And then after that period, you bring it back into Topaz for no additional charge and they do a full decontaminating wash again of the car and then they check the PPF has adhered properly to the bodywork of the car and if it hasn't then they correct those issues and they'll either replace the PPF if it needs to be replaced or they'll reapply it or stick it down again. So this has now had a full decontaminating wash. As you can see the car is absolutely immaculate. They, if you ever want a car clean this is a place to clean it. This car was really crowded up with all the mileage that we've done with going um, all our travels to work with Hampson Auctions. So got, it was really, really dirty, but the car is now absolutely pristine. So, okay, so what have they done? So there's been a couple of pieces of additional film that have been added to the car to provide some additional protection. First of all, we've had some additional film applied to the back here on this rear part of the wheel arch. Now you can't see it because it's been applied so, so, um, so well and so clear. And this comes up across and up to the top of the wheel arch. So this will protect against swarf coming from this back tire because you can as you can see from the back this tire extends out past this wheel arch section so it will throw swarf all around here and that's where you're likely to get stone chips so this is now all separately protected remember this hasn't got full ppf coverage this has got what's called the track pack so this is an extension to the track pack in addition they've also added some ppf to the back rear diffuser because this is all piano black so easily marked so this is all now protected at the back again to protect from swarf coming up from the rear wheels. I'm only talking about this side, it's obviously protected on the other side as well. As you can see, just to go through what has been done previously, all the piano black sections have been PPF'd. So that's all this roof, which is part of the black pack on the Lotus Amira, all these side rails at the back on the engine cover, these, these, these rails from B rail down through the A pillar, etc. all this rail section either side of the roof has been covered off with PPF. The back casings of the mirrors that's all PPF'd and then from the A pillar forward the whole front of the car is PPF'd. And when we were traveling recently on the motorway we had some swarf hit the front of the car and the PPF saved the car. It's put a little bit of a chip in the PPF there and what we'll do is we'll replace that bit of PPF when we sell the car in the future. There's no point in replacing it now because that's going to get further damaged in the future. But that was a big piece of plastic swarf that came off a car from a car that was in the adjacent lane to us on the motorway. And it really hammered into the front of the car. So PPF really saved the car. And it hit the car with such force, it fractured the number plate. So I don't know if you can see in there but it actually fractured the number plate where it hit the number plate with such force and then ricocheted off, hit here, and then actually lodged itself in this section over the other side of the car. Quite impressive. Now, one of the additional services that Topaz have provided us today, which is really, really kind of them, is that they've taken the wheels off and they've ceramic coated all these wheels because the wheels are piano black as well and they are a nightmare with regards to brake dust. This car has steel brakes Therefore, it has normal or low competition pads. It doesn't have carbon ceramics and carbon ceramics don't produce much brake dust. Unfortunately, steels do. These brakes are exceptional, but they produce a lot of brake dust. So Topaz have kindly added on at no additional cost. They provided a ceramic coating for the wheels and for the calipers as well. So it will now make it a lot easier for us to keep the wheels clean and the calipers clean going forward which is very important for us when we're creating content for you because it means that we can showcase the car in as best condition as possible all the time when it's on video.
If you were looking to purchase your first supercar or add a car to your collection, Rich Reviews has already helped multiple owners secure their dream supercar. We have a mix and match of services to help take the pain away to ensure a happy, memorable purchase away from the stress that can be caused by car research and dealing negotiations. Our mix and match of services include telephone support calls, pre-purchase inspection and car collection video. For more information, please contact me via message in the comments below or at the following email address. Now back to the video. One brilliant thing about when you take your car into these places and especially into Topaz, Bristol. Thanks again, by the way, to Andy at Topaz. He manages Topaz site. Um, it's just really looks after you really, really well. And to add on to that, it's brilliant when you take your car back from these places because you can take it in really crowded up as we did and you get the car back like it's brand new. I mean, it's absolutely pristine inside the cabin here. And it was quite mudded up around the floor carpets because we've been driving it quite a bit. Obviously, it's a channel car, so we create content a lot for you for the channel. And it's been immaculately cleaned. It's just great job. It's just so lovely to get back into the car when, you've, when you're picking up the car and to know that the car's going to come back absolutely pristine. And of course, the external bodywork has been totally decontaminized. So it's been cleaned multiple times, been foam washed multiple times and clean back so it's absolutely spotless outside as well so the cars come back like a clean immaculate new car again which is brilliant so really pleased with the work that they've performed and it means now that the car is protected for the foreseeable future now one thing we are talking about or thinking about doing having a word with topaz and andy again at topaz has really looked after us is maybe a few different changes to the exterior bodywork of the car and by changes I mean adding some bespoke custom bits of film. So let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see. So some things that we could add as an option, say for example, is adding on some carbon fiber covers to, for the sills. So carbon fiber film for the sills. We've seen Topaz apply carbon fiber film and it looks really good. And we've seen some of these mirrors with some carbon fiber film applied in certain areas and it does look really good as long as it's done in the proper manner as long as it's done conducive with the styling of the car etc so let us know in the comments below if you'd like anything or you think that the car would look really good with any bits and pieces in carbon fiber be really interested to hear what your thoughts are on that at the moment we're thinking possibly the sills the sill covers possibly the end caps of the door mirrors those sort of bits bits and pieces like that uh, it'd be interesting to know um, what your thoughts are on that. The car's driving lovely at the moment, bringing it back from Topaz. We haven't had it for two and a half days now because it's been having this additional PPF applied and the, and the cleaning work being done and the ceramic applied to the wheels and to the calipers. So we're now driving it back now. So we're going to bring you some content obviously going forward with regards to our ownership experience. And we're going to be putting a lot of mileage on this car with respect to other owners. So we will be very well placed to understand how the car is performing and if there's any issues that come forward, how to resolve those issues. As you know, we have those three issues already on this car. We have the cracked windscreen. We have the, the defective paintwork on the rear engine cover which is in effect a reaction with the composite materials that they use on the car and the paintwork and that's very common on these mirrors and also we have the fact where at the moment it's not working at all <laughs> we can't put the air conditioning on because the resistor needs replacing which apparently is quite a bit of work they've got to remove quite a bit of the dashboard to, to replace that resistor so that works has got to be performed and we're going to bring you all the details of how Lotus deal with those issues going forward. At the moment, we're having a bit of a nightmare with Lotus directly with them communicating very well with regards to us getting the car in to have these bits and pieces performed with the work performed. And we're hitting them from both sides. The dealership where I bought this car from, Safwat Cars, they're communicating with Lotus and we're communicating with Lotus as well. And we're finding that people are leaving Lotus they're not getting back to us properly um, with regards to the people that we were communicating with who have now left. Finally, they get back to us, but then, you know, they don't provide a solution to go forward. It's been a bit of a nightmare again. The reason why I never bought a car from Lotus in the first place was because Lotus messed me around so much. And I'm having that problem again with Lotus now. It's not the car that's the problem. It's Lotus. <laughs> 
So I'll keep you updated on how the communications um, carry on forward with Lotus and how we finally get the booked in and when we finally get the car booked in to have these bits and pieces remediated and how it goes with that remediation work, how Lotus and the Lotus dealerships progress and perform that work for the, on the car to correct those three main issues. We're gonna keep you posted.